unethical funds. Dave is a financial advisor. He's young and he's working for a large firm. He's also the victim of a motor vehicle accident. I've been treating him. He's almost better. Of course, the insurance company is dicking us about a bit. Before they covered his accident, they're consuming his extended benefits so that once he's recovered, they'll already have whisked away his extended benefits, saving themselves collectively a few hundred dollars. I think that little insurance company conspiracy might have been what set us off to invent the unethical fund. Or maybe we were talking about ethical stocks while I was working on his neck, and one of us, or both of us, came up with the idea of a mutual fund based explicitly on unethical stocks. I got quite excited. It would sell like hotcakes. Everyone assumes that unethical companies are profitable. We could make a million. Day's devil's own unethical funds. People would buy them as a novelty. You could put in one share of, X, of Enron. Can you still buy Enron, I asked. Oh yes, I believe it's selling at 39 cents this morning. And their accountants, friend, Andersons, of course, said Day. Who are the big weapons manufacturers, I asked, besides Dow Chemicals? Not Dow, it's Lockheed and Boeing. How about General Motors? General Electric? I don't know about General Motors, said Day. But certainly we can stick in Harley Davidson. Harley has been one of our favorite topics. It's America's new mother's milk and apple pie. There's a two-year waiting list to buy a bike. Why Harley, I ask? Because the Hell's Angels ride them. Think Harley, think Angels. And there's Exxon and their pollution and the banks and the insurance companies. I said, oh yes, the insurance companies for sure. We added to our list with abandon. There's McDonald's for the trees and the heart disease. There's Talisman, a great Canadian firm. Just this week it became public that Talisman had asked the Sudanese military to clear the villages out of the oil fields. And what about Volkswagen? Dave asked. Actually, I said, Volkswagen don't make any weapons on principle. Ah, but there was the Second World War slave labor. Well, we could certainly throw in crops. I think they're a big pharmaceutical nowadays, probably under some new name. We'll have to research the Second World War's slave labor practices. What about the pharmaceuticals in general? Asked Dave. Well, I think they are pretty unethical. That's a long story, I said. I'll save it for another day, but Monsanto and the other genetic engineering concerns are a sure bet. Then I stopped and thought, you know, maybe we could just pretend to buy unethical stocks and really buy ethical stocks. Tell everyone we were buying unethical, but cheat on them and really buy ethical stocks. That would be unethical and illegal, said Dave. My enthusiasm for the project continued through the end of our session and through booking the next appointment and seeing Dave to the door. I was sure Dave's devil's own unethical stocks would be hot, would be viable. It could be a really big fad, make us rich, but I sensed for Dave, this was not a serious proposition. He was just having fun. As he started down the stairs, I queried him, you're not going to do this, are you? You know it would work. Everyone would buy some. Gifts for their friends. Just for a joke. We'd make a killing. Dave looked back. I don't really have time, he said. I'm too busy making money for my clients. And besides, he added, but then left me hanging. And besides, I asked, and besides, it would be unethical.